and it can carry over into practice and you sure hope it carries into next week's game. This will be a fair catch by Hester. The Falcons offense comes out for what is in essence just a kneel down or two to make this one official and Phil what a sweet moment it is for that bunch of players right there. Oh yeah a lot of smiles on the offensive side as you walk out on the field and it's just you think about it this way a tough week of work all the preparation and the practice and you came through and got it done and enjoy the moment. Phil before we go how about this win how much will this one count. You know Jim all wins are nice this one was done easy you didn't have to sweat too much over it. you feel good and you just enjoy the next couple days. For Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Two running backs will take the field today in hopes of leading their team to victory out on that field. It's Freeman's Falcons going up against Peterson's Vikings. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Phil Sims for this Week 12 matchup. Vikings, Falcons, Coming up on EA Sports, getting set for today's Week 12 matchup. 
Right. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Do we have a little upset special coming your way today? One team's unbeaten. Well, when you're undefeated going into week 10, you got to look out because, you, you know, your players think they're indestructible. They can't make mistakes, but we know they can't. And when you're undefeated, you are always going to get the best from your opponent. So look out today here, Jim. This is going to be tough. And Devin Hester will be back deep for the opening kickoff. The leaders of the NFC North are set now to kick it away and get this game started. We're underway here. He'll take it from the one. Still on his feet. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Ryan jogging out now for his first series. Last week, he was able to put together three scoring drives through the air. Falcons pistol set here. First down at the 25. Up the gut here. Gets about four yards that time. Here's our look at the Falcons lineup. They've struggled this year in the passing game. The Falcons have it at the 29. Trying to plow ahead. Freeman's taken down at the 49. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. First down following the long play. They hand it off to him again. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Freeman's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Smith's lined up in a single-back formation. The quarterback's picked up on something. He's changing the play here. Looking long to Julio Jones. Wow, what a catch. That great throw puts them now in a first and goal situation. Oh, Jim, but this quarterback, Jim, a perfect throw, and now they're in a good position to maybe get seven points on the board. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Ryan gives it up. He breaks the play. He's in for the touchdown. You got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O line. The Falcons now will tack on the extra point. The point after is good. The Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. Just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Bridgewaters is, of course, going to be the man at quarterback today. Looking for a little more accuracy out there, having completed less than 50% of his passes on the season. Teddy Bridgewater had a terrific career at the University of Louisville. Turned that football program around. Our first-round pick in the NFL. He is going to have a successful, long career. First down at the 22. And Claiborne's all over the ball carrier. The Vikings running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Durant's in on the tackle. 
Well, he's in the NFL because of this, because this guy can break tackles. Good job on that play. Third and three. He has the grab. What a nice catch by the receiver. Getting past the yard markers, makes the catch, and gets the first down. The Vikings snap it at the 41. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. An extra tight end on the field for this one. First and 10. And intercepted. Has space. He's in the clear. Inside, and he's home for the touchdown. You got to love that from your defense. They take a chance. They get the interception. Not only do they do that, they return it a long way for the touchdown. It's good. End of one here in Atlanta, Georgia. We'll be back momentarily for the start of the second. This building hosted a number of Olympic medal events back in 1996 to go along with its other history, Super Bowls and Final Fours and others, the Georgia Dome in Atlanta. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Vikings offense back on the field trying to make up for that costly mistake. The last time they had the ball, the turnover they committed immediately turned into points against them. Yeah, it did, Jim, but you know what? It's not a perfect game. you got to deal with adversity when you're talking about football. So you made that mistake. Let it go and go out there, be aggressive, and see if you can score some points. After running it, it's second down. with the short hands. Trufant's in on the tackle. That's a good job by the receiver running the drag route across the field. These are not easy throws for the quarterback, but he sticks it right on him for the completion. First down and 10. Johnson's going to pull in the bullet pass. Jim, they call that a post route. Do you know why? The receiver is running towards the goal post, so they call it a post route. And we've reached the two-minute warning in this one. Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. First down at the 35. Rudolph had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. Rudolph's unable to break that pass in, Jim. He just took his eyes off the football. I mean, to do that, it's usually going to result in a drop. And those things happen. It's not a perfect game. You've got to overcome adversity. I think this guy will do it. Next time it comes this way, he'll make the catch. Peterson's ready to run off the screen. They knocked him down behind the line of scrimmage. The Vikings now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. You know, you go to the hurry-up offense so you can get a high number of plays in, but also you don't want to use the timeout. Tackle's made, and that'll move the chains. The Vikings on their offensive play sheet, they don't have many plays for third and long situations, but that is a really nice job that time by the offense, the quarterback. They pick up the first down. That'll get you going. Two hands on the football and has the catch. And he's in for the touchdown what a play what a run tight ends are a position where you got to be able to do it all you got to be able to block run routes and you got to be able to get in position so you have a chance to catch the touchdown pass good job of the tight end touchdown 
Rudolph's probably ready to get right back on the field after that last drive. A drive in which he contributed over 40 yards receiving, helping the team score. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. The Falcons offense taking the field again. They got everything they could out of that last possession, Phil. That was a solid touchdown drive. Yeah, just look at them, Jim. The way they run onto the field, you can see they're exuding confidence. When you got a confident football team, man, let them go and let them play and see if they can make it happen again. They'll decline the penalty and let the play stand. Falcons moving inside the 20 and the red zone last week. They just feasted on that part of the field. First and 10. Freeman's going to take the handoff now. Freeman's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. Second and six. Freeman's got it on the handoff. Touchdown! What a run! Getting close to the half, and they're giving their opponents a lot to talk about in the locker room. Yeah, they are putting some kind of whipping on them here early in the game. I'll just say this for the defensive side that's losing. It's been terrible. So go in there at halftime, change what you're doing, and get back in this game. Makes the PAT. up now in kickoff formation. Patterson's going to test the coverage here. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Vikings have tried to stretch the field vertically, and they certainly have. Bridgewater's been showing off that cannon he has for an arm. Yeah, he's got it all, doesn't he? When you watch him throw the football down the field, you can see the arm strength. But the biggest thing is you can see that wonderful touch on the football. He is laying that football in there right on the money. on the right side split out wide first down at the 22 a nice grab no doubt he was going to hold on to that one the Vikings call a timeout their first First down at the 36. Throws it toward the sideline, and what a catch. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Bridgewater's completion percentage, 80% on the day. Peterson, solo back set. Now first and ten. Bridgewater's pass will go for an incompletion. Well, your teammates are really going to respect you after something like this. Anytime you're on that field as an athlete, and when you give all your effort to every single play like that time, how about that? Just giving every bit of effort he can to make the catch. Not able to get it, but what a job of that. Ball is out. A recovery by the defense. Right, going to make the tackle. Oh, 
hold on to the football. Don't let the first defender come at you. Just reach in there and pull it right out. The Falcons are going to head to the break with a pretty comfortable lead here, Phil. Yeah, it's really been good offensive play. I love it the way the offensive line is playing together, not making any mistakes and giving the quarterback and everybody else a chance to have good success. The Falcons will take the snap from the 30. Freeman's marked down at the 34. Freeman's never able to build up that power that he has as a running back when there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. Falcons have it at the 34. Taken down, but not until he picks up the first. We've come to the end of the first half in the Olympic City of Atlanta. We'll take a quick break here for halftime before returning for the start of the third. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to it. The Falcons want to continue to give their fans something to cheer about in the second half. The Vikings haven't played horribly, but will need to improve if they want to win this one. All right, let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Now second and eight, Julio Jones making the grab in traffic. And the pass and catch will end up going for 46 yards. Later on the drive, Smith's going to stay up the middle. And he'd go in for the three-yard touchdown. Falcons with the early advantage. Vikings on offense, first quarter winding down. Here the throw is hurried and picked off. Falcons would then turn it around for the TD. That puts them on top by 14. First and 10 from the Ville. Teddy Bridgewater squeezing the pass in here. And that goes as a 23-yard touchdown. Vikings down by a touchdown. Falcons take over late in the second. Freeman's going to stay inside after the handoff. And a quick three-play drive ends with the score. Still a little time left on the clock. Quick pass, and he finds Rudolph. And he ends up at their own 36-yard line before he stopped on the play. A fumble would later end the drive. So that'll wrap it up for us here at the EA Sports Studio. We'll head back now to Atlanta for the start of the second half. With Phil Sims alongside and Danielle Bellini reporting from the sidelines. Jim Nance from the Georgia Dome as the third quarter is about to get underway. With this kick, the second half is underway. Patterson's going to run this one out. He had nowhere to go, and they deck him at the 16-yard line. The Falcons defense knocked the ball loose at just the right time. The last time they were out there, just when it looked like they were about to give up some points. Oh, man, listen, what I love about this defense, they get a lot of guys around the football, and when you do that, one is hitting the, the carrier, and somebody else is trying to strip that football loose. Vikings come to the line with a bunch set. First down at the 16. He's into the open. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. They'll go ground. And Claiborne's able to read that play and make the hit. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Vikings have it at the 39. to the end zone. Ball is tackled down. Third catch today so far. When you make hustle plays like this on the defensive side, it can change the game. Look like a sure touchdown, but the defensive player hustles, gets the tackle right before he goes in the end zone. Now, see if he can hold him to three points instead of seven. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. 
Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there and it's first to go. If you score, now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. The Falcons will get their hands on the football again, but their lead is not the same. Things are getting tight here. The scores, 21 to 14. The Falcons in kick return formation. He'll have a chance to take off. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. The Falcons take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, Parker. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early to turn the football over. That's what you want to do, just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving, keep the defense guessing, make them react instead of attack. First and 10. Freeman's handed the football. The Falcons, they never back off. That first down, they got a small lead here in the second half. What are they looking to do? They're looking to march this football down the field and score. Matt Ryan under center. First down at the 37. And Munner would nearly pick off that throw. Well, the quarterback can't get him open. He threw to the right guy that time, but the coverage was so good by the defense, uh, nowhere to get the completion. Doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. Defense is about discipline. And when you lose discipline, big plays happen. That time, the defensive pass rushers, a little overzealous. They get out of the rush lanes. The quarterback gets outside and makes the play. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. The Falcons lined up, bunch formation. Second down and seven. And they take him down. Well, if I was that quarterback, I'd be mad after getting sacked like that by the defensive end. Your offensive tackle's just gotta do a better job. Falcons take it from the 28. And now Ryan's gonna take off. The Falcons brought the blitz, but couldn't get the sack. You got to be alert for that. Everybody's so anxious to get to the quarterback and hit him, and I understand that part, wanting to hit the quarterback, but when you lose discipline, you give up big plays. And we're here in the heart of Atlanta with so much history in this building. Super Bowls and Final Fours and more at the Georgia Dome. Leading and with possession of the football, a good place to be at this point in the game. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you've got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense makes the reception he'll pick up seven this time the Falcons are up right now and a big reason why is the offense is coming through on the season you see the numbers and they're not great but today they certainly have been in the groove Jim I'll just say this finally all the hard work is paying off it's starting to show on the field boy but it has been one frustrating year for this offense Time enough to squeeze in one more play before the short run, and it's a touchdown. Not everybody's able to run the football in near the goal line for scores anymore in the offense. It's just too hard, but this offense tough. The offensive line give them.